Yo, Shakumako Habibis, it's your boy, Taif, <laughs> coming at you with another episode with the pretty and the one and the only, oh. Hannah Rickman. Also, do you want to introduce our special yes, guest? Yes, our special guest is um, also the one and only, Shishi. She is a uh, Washington, D.C. native, but currently lives with me in uh, Brooklyn, and um, she's really the star of the show and of my life, so Absolutely. obviously we need to include her. Mm -hmm. um, she is a best friend of Tyfe and um, a lover of all. And you know, you guys know that this is all about food. If there is one, I, I would say, person that knows about food, is this it's little one right she. here. Seriously. So, Hannah. Yes. So, I always like to call Hannah Hannah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, it just sounds better to me. I because hope, it's more I natural okay for you. I you. love it. I love it. So, tell us, Hannah. Mm -hmm. Who is Hannah Rickman? Oh my god. Um, Hannah Rickman is very extreme and dedicated and fun-loving person who eats as much as possible as well as works as hard as possible. What do you have to do these days? Uh, well, I'm the founder of a company called The Break. Um, we are based in Brooklyn and online, and that's pretty much all I do every single day if I'm not uh, driving down to DC to come hang out with you and Carrie. If you, if you guys don't know what The Break is, it's fucking badass. <laughs> Um, first time I, I saw Hannah talking about it, it was like three years ago and she had started. like little like, uh, cards that had the break vintage on this them. And I literally went to Chipotle one day and I was like, you guys need to check this out. And I, was like handing, and I was like handing them these cards, I swear. You know what's really funny? So my cool. number one clientele are actually employees of Chipotle. So I think I have a lot of my success. Look at that. I owe it all to you. That's amazing. Just me. Just just Tyfe. Specifically Tyfe and everyone who works at Chipotle, thank you for supporting <laughs> the break and our mission. What's the uh, give us the the back end story of yeah, the break? Absolutely. Like, how did it how did it all start? The break came about um, about four years ago uh, in my apartment. I started the company. Actually, I was with your girlfriend in Berlin, and that's when we really kind of created the idea. And she really was like, "You have to do this," because we were traveling around uh, Eastern Europe specifically, and I was walking into all of these really incredible spaces that were so multi-purpose. You could eat, you could drink, you could shop. Mm -hmm. um, it was really uh, you know kind of a space that was about community and I never really thought I'd been living in New York for five years at that time and um, I had never really found a place in New York that felt had that same feeling so I wanted to create something um, and vintage I started with vintage because that's what I personally felt like I knew best I'm from Wisconsin and I've been uh, wearing vintage and sourcing vintage my entire life and I was so sick of going into vintage stores in New York and either them being super expensive, like unreasonably expensive for the piece. It feels really exclusive and it feels really um, unfriendly. And I mm. wanted to create something that was the complete opposite of that. So I wanted to kind of break away from this, this misrepresentation of vintage being you know, super old, not cool anymore, um, or super expensive. So I started online in my apartment. Um, I basically sourced vintage pieces and I priced them at super affordable prices, but I styled them um, in kind of higher, high, higher fashion editorial. Yeah, and I wanted it to be relatable. I wanted it to be inclusive and something that people could, like a website, if, even if it's just in the virtual world, a space online that people could come to and feel like, wow, these, these, this company gets me. And, and then finally, we were throwing events in our um, studio space and they were wild. It was less about selling something and more about meeting the people that have started to you know really follow us and, and yeah. be a part of the brand. Um, we did a pop-up and um, that pop-up was a month and I said if if uh, our customer wants a physical manifestation of the brand um, they will let us know with this pop-up and, and they did. So a month later we opened up the store and from there Amazing. we yeah it's been a year that we've had the store open in brooklyn and we've done a lot of international pop-ups we've done pop-ups in la as well and um the space has really become less of a store and more of a, a community gathering point where people can just come in and have a glass of rosé and hang out with us and if you happen to buy a top then wonderful we're super happy that we could provide that for you and what i love about what you've created is kind of the same thing that i'm trying to with with we the heavy is mm -hmm. building a community and you've done that so successfully. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make this this episode just about the break yeah, because no, there's so either. much more to this girl than the break. Is there? Yeah. Tell <laughs> tell tell them about like 
the the our first brunch. Wait, oh before God. before that, before that. So so I meet I meet my current girlfriend and you know we're having a good start for this relationship and she's like, listen, Tyve, that was like three years ago three years or so. Ago, yeah. She's like, listen, Tyve, my friend, my best friend, uh, that I grew up with is coming into town to DC from New York to DC, and uh, you know just just be ready. And I was like, what do you mean <laughs> just be ready? Like I like what? Like is this a test or something? She's Got like it. she's like you'll know. Yeah. This lady walks walks in, or just like energy, boom, <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, I see. And then the brunch story comes in. Yeah. So we, we why don't you tell it? Oh, I I remember this like it was yesterday. We we had the most fun brunch where we, there was no one else at the table, as far as I'm concerned. It was you and me, and we had a mimosa, and a mimosa. chug off. <laughs> yeah. Like it was unlimited mimosas for brunch, and no one else was there. I hey, remember, mom, I don't drink. No. I don't <laughs> I've never had. I've never drank. Um, but we, we beat everyone at the table by by far. It was a competition between you and me. Totally. And we, I remember by the end of the brunch, I'm like, my leg is in the air. I'm wearing your sunglasses. The, it was just nonstop laughter the entire time. I don't think we even had a conversation because we were just laughing the and, chugging high, and chugging mimosas <laughs> the entire time. And Carrie's just sitting there like, okay, yeah, I think this is going to work. Another thing that I really love about the work that you're doing is how you, you always find a way to incorporate food mm -hmm. and drinks absolutely in your events, not just in your events. Like mm -hmm. when I pop into your store, there's always something to eat yeah. and something to drink. Absolutely. Why? Because that is another way of uh, creating community. I think it's such an incredible creative outlet, and I think it's an it's it's an art. It really is an art form. So like going to a new restaurant. Am I an artist? You, see, you are a fucking artist, Tyfe. A hundred percent, you are an artist. <laughs> Absolutely. And even just sitting when I was here the other night, and you were cooking and just like watching you prepare, and you like you just like mixing things that and like chicken rubbing was things, so and I'm good. like, oh, my, that chicken was so that good. Was so but good. every single thing that you've made for me is like truly phenomenal and you just continue to get better and better hey also i know you guys have noticed there is another soda water on on, on this episode lacroix this is not sponsored by them but if lacroix is watching it's delicious so you guys if you want to check uh the break Go mm -hmm. to Shop the Break on Instagram, Shop follow the them, com. and shopthebreak.com. And if you're ever in um, Brooklyn, or if you're watching from Brooklyn right now, come by the store. By. We have a glass of rosé waiting for you. Always. We are about to head out right now mm -hmm. to an amazing party. Carrie's birthday party. Carrie and Polly. And Polly. We'll, we'll make sure to bring you guys to the party with us. And then uh, we'll do some cooking tomorrow yes. as well. So yes. uh, some hangover American yeah, breakfast, which we are absolutely going to need yep, after yep. today. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. It's going to be great. Hope anyway. It's going to be awesome. Thank you all for uh, being here. Thank you of course, for being thank here. You. Love you. Love you so much. Thank you for being with thank only you. the Habibis. Thank this is a true you. Habibi right here. Mm -hmm. You want to say something? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>